Let's say you're Netflix and chilling and your house catches on fire and the fire triggers your smoke alarm and your smoke alarms are interconnected so they start beeping. So what you do you do? You'll call 911 and hopefully a fire truck arrives and extinguishes the flame and if the flame is small enough you use a fire extinguisher to turn off the flame and you have a happy home and a happy you. Let's say you're at work and this thing happens. Your house is on fire and then the fire alarms go off but you have no idea that the fire alarms have gone off. What would you do? Your house is on fire and it probably would have burned down by the time you get home. So there are a few devices in the market. Uh, Kitty has something called a Kitty Remote Limb monitor which sells for around hundred dollars what it does is it looks for the RF signals from the its smoke detectors and uh, it is connected to Wi-Fi and sends you a message on your smartphone there's obviously the better product which is the Nest um, smoke alarm detector which has Wi-Fi connected and this device is called Nest Protect and it sells for around hundred twenty dollars but we are going to use something which is just two dollars we're going to make a device which does exactly this it looks for a signal from the smoke alarm and sends a signal to uh, our smartphone our home automation device uh, and we can get some information about what is going on inside the house so um, how to build this has been uh, discussed in a previous video which you can uh, look for uh, here um, but this is the device that we're going to use so all this requires is um, a signal which can be a 3.3 volt or 0 volt and a power source somewhere around uh, 4 to 5 volts and a ground and um, this uh, is powered using a HT7333A um, it's a very nice voltage regulator which powers this ESP8266 so our ESP8266 is turned off for most of the time it only wakes up when it receives a 3.3 volt signal it turns on the Wi-Fi sends the MQTT message so that's all this chip does so when there is fire uh, you have your fire alarms going off and what this uh, chip has to do is look for the signal and once it receives a signal it should be able to send that signal to uh, your smart smartphone so the first step would be to send an MQTT message um, which can be uh, connected to a home assistant UI this home assistant is um, a very a useful tool which can actually connect to various devices as well as services to send you instant push uh, messages as well as information on what is going on so what you would want to do is once you get this message call 911 and fire truck is sent to your house so this way your house is safe um, and probably the fire engine gets there in time while you're racing back to your home so how do we actually hack into the smoke detector so all this has to do is this particular configuration has to receive a 3.3 volt signal and some form of power so these um, these um, smoke detectors have a battery uh, pack so it uses three 1.5 volts um, AA batteries so which uh, comes to a total of 4.5 volts so if you connect the VCC to the 4.5 volts and ground to the ground pin you are going to power this chip so the voltage regulator uh, down converts the 4.5 volts into 3.3 volts that is required to run this chip the next uh, thing is to actually look for a signal that is triggered when this smoke alarm detects a smoke. So let's look at this portion of the chip. So zoom in. So this third pin over here is turned on. So when there is fire, you have smoke, and when there is smoke, you have a plus 3.3 volt signal that shows up. And when this 3.3 volt signal is high, this uh, particular um, beeper or uh, speaker is uh, turned on and that is what is the loud sound that you hear from the smoke alarm. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap into this particular 
pin. So if we connect this particular pin to the signal of our ESP8266, um, so uh, it's going to get a signal once the smoke alarm is triggered and uh, the smoke alarm will be going off as well as it's this particular chip is going to send an MQTT message uh, through Home Assistant and uh, send you a push notification. So this way uh, you can actually hack into this uh, particular smoke alarm to get um, uh, internet connected uh, smoke uh, alarm.